Hello everybody and welcome back to Messing with Computer Craft. Uh, let me just set the time of day here. And this is just going to be a quick little tutorial on basically making functions run a certain amount of times efficiently. At least I think it's pretty much efficient. So here we have three blocks that we need to mine and there's at least three ways I know of of doing it. So the first simple method what a normal probably first programmer would do is just hard dot dig forward dig forward dig forward. So if we exit that, save exit E, it'll do just that. A bit higher up, you'll do a function that contains mine or dig and forward, and you'll just run that three times. So save exit E, just like that. And then there's the third method, which I will quickly show you. So you want to make a new program, and then you want to make your function. So this one I'm going to do function, mine, and then inside the parentheses, you want to do times, or just write the word, and then you want to do a for loop. So for i equals 1, comma, times, do and then you want to put whatever you want to be done inside that. So we're going to do turtle.dig turtle.forward just like that. We're going to do end end save exit e and nothing happens because that was never run. <laughs> and I don't believe anything will happen if we do it just like that. Yeah, it says it can't run without a number. So, and I believe zero also passes false. So we have one, two, three, four. So let's simply input that into our thing. So we're going to do edit E, come down to mine, and we're going to put four. So we're going to do save exit e one two three four perfect so now what we can do is uh, edit e there we go and now we want to make it go backwards to reset its position so now we can just do function back times Oops, misspelled again. And again. There we go. I'm going to do 4 i equals 1 to times 2. And then do turtle dot back. There we go. And, and, and then you want to go down underneath your other function and just do back like that and four save exit and let's place one two three four blocks and run e so one two three four three four there we go so that's a quick and simple way to do it and you can do it with all kinds of stuff so for example if I want to do this I can get a redstone lamp put it like this and we're going to do edit e and then let's do function blink times just like that and then for i equals one to times do not fo, fo do there we go and then rs dot set output left true sleep for half a second rs dot set output left false There we go. 
end end and then blink ten times there you go save exit e one oh I believe I know the problem let me edit this there we go let's wait one second I believe it was pulsing too fast for the lamp to register. One. Hmm. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there you go. And I believe I may have put something a little bit wrong in that code. But uh, yeah. So that is how you can minimize code a lot at least that I know of there may be a possible other way to do it but not that I have any knowledge of so if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them so anyway if you like this video leave a nice thumbs up if you disliked it leave a dislike comment share all that good stuff and I will catch you next time this is Heller signing out